Hey guys, it's me, Jules Julie Ed. Today we're going to be having a series of Why Ladies. Now, I haven't had this series in a while because, honestly, I haven't been putting as much focus into it. But now, we're in quarantine, baby. We're going to start putting in focus. And I'm going to be doing a lot of series of this. Now, I am honestly kind of upset with the pandemic that's going on. I'm not upset because I'm inside the house. I'm upset because a lot of people are losing their family members. And I see this beautiful video that this woman got married and then a year later her, you know, her partner died and they were like one for the other one and she's just heartbroken and now she can't even see his face because it's just like silence her and it's just like, damn, that breaks my heart. But honestly, I just feel like I'm not really up for watching the news because it's just always downwards from there. And it does break my heart to see parents not being able to say goodbye to their children and vice versa and seeing people get robbed even more because of this pandemic and other countries are just like killing and hitting and it's just so much that's going on in the world so today i decided to do a video about health now today what we're going to be talking about is COVID 19 and a lot of us aren't really taking it as serious as including myself because i do go out every once a week and it's just to get the essentials but i'm also going out there to hunt for a main essentials that i cannot be able to find and you know some of my friends whoa some of my friends do work so unfortunately they do not have the availability that i have which is to go out and find the essentials that they need so i go for them and i honestly am honored the fact that i'm able to do that for them now we always take that extra precaution of everything you guys when i leave my house I Lysol down. Do not inhale it because it's bad for you because it can it can produce cancer. So do not inhale it. Hold your breath for 10-15 seconds. Spray it. Go and twirl down and then enter your house after like a minute or two. I do that with every time I get out of the house. Before I go out, I make sure I spray myself down. I, you know, I take an extra protection for not only myself but for it people who I live with this epidemic that's going on consists with a few things let's start about with the symptoms the symptoms that it does say that it has is the common cold which the common cold has fever tiredness and dry cough now my thing is that a lot of people are dying due to the dry cough because a dry cough after that produce phlegm which phlegm then you know it just the holes that you have to breathe, the tubes that you have on your lungs to breathe, start clogging up and the dry cloth and you just start coughing, coughing so hard that, you know, you just force it and it gets inflamed. And that's what causes people to stop breathing. But it also contains with headaches, pains, which by pain, it means like body pain apparently and aching of your body as well as like headaches and migraines is now one of them apparently but it's also nasal congestion runny nose sore throat and diarrhea you guys yes diarrhea is part of a common cold as well as covid 19 things that can't be now it says that it takes about five to six days from when someone is infected with the virus to actually get the symptoms which Five to six days is a lot to begin with. During those times, every time I go out, honestly, I like to steam my nostrils because I know that that's something that I've read that it is also, obviously when you go out, you inhale, you guys. You inhale through your nose, if not through your mouth, but therefore when you inhale, it goes through here and then it goes through here and then it goes down there. So definitely steaming your face is something that I do recommend. And that's gonna be in a far on video, you guys. I'm like, I'm stay along, you guys, stay along. But if you have trouble catching your breath, it's an automatic symptom. Therefore, you need to start practicing your breathing techniques. I seen a doctor on Instagram that started showing you guys how to breathe. Hold your lungs. Your lungs are in the front, but then they also affect your back, which causes you not to sleep a lot. So you need to practice breathing while you're standing up and breathing while you're laying down in bed as well. Now that we have that done, we need to start figuring out, one, how to cure. Because all I'm hearing is the symptoms that it's out there. All I'm hearing is the death that is happening. But I'm not hearing anything about curing what you have or how to slow it down or how to feel better. I don't see any of that going on in the news. So because of that, I decided to do this video. And let's get to it. We're going to start off with 
for fevers, definitely apple cider vinegar is your must go. It's nasty. I know it's nasty. But warm apple cider vinegar and just apple cider vinegar at the same time to drink, it's really good for you. Not only it has a multi-purpose when it comes with drinking it and consuming it, but it also helps you relieve your headaches. It helps you relieve that fever. What you can also do if you do have a child is that you could actually put like dip a cloth in the apple cider vinegar and apply it on their stomach or on their feet let that dry now apple cider vinegar absolutely stinks but it's a temporarily stink you guys for you guys to feel better it's temporarily it's something that's gonna just the odor's gonna be there for a while it's gonna be there for a while and then it's gonna be gone but at least you're gonna feel a lot better trust me it is not the best smelling thing out there <laughs> another thing is that you could also use potato I, I like i'm trying to like potato <laughs> Sounds weird, I know it does, but you could go ahead and, and slice some potatoes and put it on your feet. Now, when you do that, it not only relieves the tension of your feet, but it also relieves your headaches. What I like to do when I do have a headache uh, and I do feel that I'm either getting a migraine or my eyes are hurting because headaches are produced by so many things and that also considers as a fever. So I go ahead and slice some potatoes and put them on my eyes. That is like the best solution I could guarantee you guys will feel amazing. Go ahead and sleep. I put some slices of potatoes of, around my eyes when I have a headache. When I feel that I'm getting sick, when my eyes are hurting, slice the potatoes and place it on your eyelids, you guys. It's going to feel amazing. You could also do it on your feet, on your back of your neck too. It's basically like a refresher of your body. I'm not going to be telling you guys that. It's instantly going to know. It takes time. Natural remedies does take a lot more for it to work but i feel like it's a better solution than medical infused stuff my personal opinion one thing is for sure is that you want to reduce the fever as minimal as you can so although this process is stinky with the onion and the apple cider vinegar it's definitely something that can help you out on reducing your fever as well as a relief of other things that you have toxic in your body now, I'm, again, I hope you guys find this video very entertaining. And I'm going to keep on going with some remedies that can help you fight COVID-19, help you fight the flu, help you fight the sore throat. You guys, I honestly, I hope everyone's doing okay. And I would, I'm going to send you guys a cyber hug because I, I can't do with this depression. I honestly, I this, watching all this news is not helping my mind but what i do want you guys to listen is that this is something that you can't fight within your body so practice your breathing guys stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video